Hey kids! Welcome back to Mamsi TV. For today's video, we are going to discuss visualizing the volume of solid figures using non-standard and standard units and finding the volume of rectangular prism for Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 3. Learning Objectives in this lesson, you are expected to visualize the volume of solid figures using non-standard and standard units. Find the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meters. Before we proceed, here are words to remember. Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Solid figures is a three-dimensional object. Capacity. It is the maximum amount that something can contain. Or ito yung bilang kung gaano kadami pwedeng may mailagay tayo sa isang bagay. Let's study this picture. Clyde and David wanted to find the volume of an empty box. Ano kaya ang kanilang gagawin? So, Clyde decided to use marbles while David decided to use ping pong balls to find the volume of the empty box. So, let's find out. Suppose ito yung box na hahanapan ng volume ni na Clyde at David. Ang volume na tinutukoy natin dito ay yung empty space o ang loob ng box. Ilan kaya ang pwedeng mailagay dito? Clyde decided to use marbles. So, he filled the box with marbles. So, here it is. Kung bibilangin natin ang marbles na nailagay ni Clyde, meron siyang 20 marbles. Now, ito naman ang box ni David. He decided to use or to fill it with ping pong balls. So, here it is. Kung bibilangin natin, merong 8 ping pong balls sa loob ng box. Kung inyong mapapansin, kahit parehas ang laki ng box na ginamit ni na Clyde at David, magkaiba ang volume nila. Bakit? Kasi gumamit sila ng non-standard units. Ang tinutukoy natin na non-standard units dito ay ang marbles at ping pong balls. So, here is another words to remember. When we say non-standard units, it can be used to measure the volume or capacity of solid figures. Sa so, binigay nating halimbawa, ang ginamit nating non-standard units para masukat natin ang volume ng box ay ang marbles at ping pong balls. Kapag ginamit natin ang non-standard units, it do not give consistent and accurate measurement of a volume. Bakit? Kasi iba't iba ang size or malaki or maliit ang ginamit natin dito. When the non-standard unit is small, more units are needed to fill the solid figure. While if it is big, fewer units are needed. Ibig sabihin, Kapag maliit ang ginamit nating non-standard unit, mas marami ang kinakailangan natin. Kapag malaki, mas kakaunti ang kinakailangan natin para ma-measure ang volume. Balikan natin ang ginawa ni na Clyde at David. So, ang non-standard units na ginamit nila dito ay ang marbles at ping pong balls. Kung inyong mapapansin, Mas maraming marbles or non-standard units ang nagamit ni Clyde since maliliit ang marbles. While ang kay David, 
ay konti lang ang nagamit niyang pingpong balls dahil mas malalaki ito compared sa marbles. Let's study this. Take a look at the illustration. This is a cube. Cube has equal sides. If all sides of a cube is 1 cm, this cube measures 1 cubic centimeter or 1 cm cube. A cube is can be used to identify or to find the volume of different figures. Now, I have here an illustration. Can you tell the volume of the solid figure? Can you count how many cubes are there in the figure? That's right. This figure contains 6 cubes. Its volume is 6 cubic centimeter or 6 centimeter cube. Here is another example. What is the volume of this figure if 1 cube is equal to 1 cubic meter? Now, para mahanap natin ang volume, bibilangin natin ang cube. Uunahin natin ang nasa ibabaw so, or, or sa first layer. Sa first layer ay merong 6 cubes. Sa ikalawang layer, since nakapatong lang din ito, meron din siyang 6 cubes. At sa ilalim ay meron ding 6 cubes. So, 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 6 is 18. Therefore, this figure has 18 cubes. If a cube is 1 cubic meter, therefore, the volume of the figure is 18 cubic meter or 18 meter cube. Now, since gumamit tayo ng cubes to find the volume, this is an example of Standard units. So here are another words to remember. Standard units gives consistent and accurate measurement. So ibig sabihin kapag ito ang ginamit natin to find the volume, magbibigay ito ng consistent and accurate na sagot. Standard units can be either metric system or ito yung centimeter meter or kilometer and or English system or ito yung inches yard, mile and etc. So we usually use as metric system of measurement. Cubic units It is the standard unit to measure the volume of a figure. Ito yung mga cubes na ginamit natin or binilang natin to find the volume of a certain figure. Cubic units can be cubic centimeter, cubic meter, or cubic kilometer. So again, let's study this. Now take a look at the new illustration. Is this a cube? No, it's not. This illustration is what we called rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a three-dimensional object that has six faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Ang best example ng mga rectangular prism ay yung mga box, katulad ng lalagyan ng shoes, lalagyan ng mga ilang gamit, and etc. Now, when we say faces, these are flat surfaces of the prism. Now, alin ang mga faces sa rectangular prism? Ito ang mga side ng box. So, let's say, 1, itong nasa harap, 2, itong nasa ilalim, 3, sa kabilang side, 4, Dito sa gilid, 5. At another one is yung katapat nito, which is 6. Now, we have vertex or vertices in plural. It is the corner of the prism. Ito yung mga kanto or ito yung mga points sa box. So, 
when we say edge, it is a line segment between faces of the prism. Ito yung linya sa pagitan ng dalawang kanto or points. Since ang rectangular prism ay three-dimensional figure, it should be consist of length, height, and width. So, suppose sa figure ang length natin ay 8 cm, ang height natin ay 4 cm, at ang width natin ay 2 cm. Now, to find its volume, gagamit na yun ng formula na volume is equal to length times width times height or V is equal to L times W times height. Then, isulat na natin ang numbers. So, we have 8 times 2 times 4. The volume is 64 centimeter cube. Let's try to solve this. Get a piece of paper and a ball pen and solve this figure. Timer starts now. Time's up! So let's see if your answer is correct. So first, write the formula. V is equal to L times W times H. Then equals to 5 times 7 times 3. The volume of the figure is 105 meter cube. Did you get the correct answer? Very good, children! So here is another one. Find the volume of this figure. And time's up! Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. Let's write the formula. V is equal to L times W times H. So we have 60 times 5 times 10. The volume of the figure is 3,000 centimeter cube. Good job, kids! What I have learned today. Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Non-standard units, it can be used to measure the volume, but do not give consistent and accurate measurement. Standard units, gives consistent and accurate measurement. It can be either metric system or English system. Cubic units. It is the standard unit to measure the volume of a figure. Rectangular prism is a three-dimensional solid figure. V is equal to L times W times H is the formula used to find the volume of a rectangular prism. CM3, it, it is read as cubic centimeter. M3 is read as cubic meter. That ends our video lesson for today. I hope you learned something in this video. Please visit my Facebook account Mamsi Mendoza or this YouTube channel Mamsi TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!